Most people in America are familiar with the boy-girl scenario. Boy meets girl. There's a meet-cute going on in that film of their lives, and the Lord may see things differently. You see, the meet-cute can sometimes be staged. The meet-cute can sometimes be a profiler putting people together to help other people never find each other. The meet-cute might have ruined a man's 10-year journey to find the one who's right for him. And the meet-cute is ruined by siblings, family members, social networks, friends, and other people who just don't see it for them. Does the Lord see differently than you? Can the Lord above all things teach you anything? Or are you thinking that you have the right to teach God something about your life? My question today is not whether or not you like your life. My question today is whether or not you love the Lord. And if you don't love the Lord, that's fine. But if you love a man that you stole away with, that you sentenced to your life, and then you started to play in vanity and vice, did plastic surgery to be just right, then it means that that man doesn't love your soul. He's interested in the Barbie doll in you. He's interested in the trophy in you. He's interested in playing you or he's interested in holding you. But the Lord's house has many rooms. And the Lord can pick two names out of the thin air and give them to me. People I've never heard of, people I've never seen, and yet I'm supposed to understand what I'm supposed to do with these names. Am I supposed to read to them for the house of the Lord? Am I supposed to be with them to improve their life? Am I supposed to school them in something on God? Or am I supposed to just drool over them as if I'm a fan of their fame, which I'm not? The liars of America don't know how much God's house knows. I literally am guided to videos on a regular basis to watch and gain from to see the truth of the souls that the Lord knows. There's a woman who's an up-and-comer who will seek great opportunities because she is phenomenally great in her soul. Her faith might wane, but she is ex excellent in what she does. And openly God said, check her over. You see, the Lord God can push and pull people, but he can't guide people unless they want to be guided. Very rarely do people want to have readings from the Lord's house because of how real they are, how profound and uncomfortable they feel, and how the rebuke from the Lord's house is just not welcome anymore.